Hello everybody and today I'm going to be showing you how tables work. So tables are basically variables that can hold multiple things than only one. So like if I have a part this can be like local part equals game.workspace.part but if you want to store multiple things in only one variable then you have to do something else. So, how tables work is like an array of things. So, if I do local part equals part equals to game dot workspace dot part this one. Let's say that one. This one could be part three, and this one could be part two. So, since this is this one, you can only call this one for this one, and if, if you want to call this one too, if you want to make a variable that, then you have to make a new one by doing like part 2 and part 3, and do that. But if you want to store it in only one variable, then you have to do game dot workspace and then you would get the children but if you only want these you can only if you get the children it'll get everything in the workspace because whatever it has the workspace as their parent will have will be the ch children of workspace so we could just group these as that so now it is workspace we could dot f dot model then you would get the children get children is basically it will get all of these and it'll make them into a table and how we can see that table is we could print the part and the part is this so if we press run, you don't need to press run, you can press play, but if we press run, you can look in the output, and it'll, you can see what has been printed. In the output, it is dot 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 with an arrow byte. If you press it, it will have 1, 2, 3 in these brackets, and it will show what 1, 2, 3 is equal to. So this is a table right here because we printed out a table and what it's printed is the variable which is the table if you want to get specific parts from the table you can do these line brackets these these brackets not the curvy brackets and you could put one two or three or how many you want so like if you want you could do the first one and like as you can see the first one is part two, for instance. The second one is part. The third one is part. And every time you press run, it will mix up. So you might want to put them in order or something. And you can do part like this one. And if I press run, it will show whatever is labeled as number two. Which is part, the first one. Another way you can make tables is like these squiggly brackets. These squiggly brackets are what makes a table. If you don't want to do get children, these squiggly brackets are basically the same as part get children, the this one with a colon get children. You can do this and you can label game dot workspace dot part or model dot part and then next you could do game dot model dot part two game and then every time you want to separate from this one two three you just make a comma so game dot parent game.workspace.model part 3 and so on you can do this forever and if you want to do this way instead of doing get children 
it will always be like sorted so if I want part one it will always be part if I want part the second one it will always be part two if I want three it will always be the third one over and for tables you don't even need instances you can do C frames dot new whatever I could just do that that and then out of it you do comma so this is the f number one and then you can do um, enum dot camera type dot scriptable for the second uh, you can do um, instance dot new actually you cannot do instance dot new in tables actually I think you can it's just a little bit weird you can do you can get false or something so how you do these is that you can do game dot workspace dot model dot part dot c frame equals part and then number one so it will turn this and it will put the c frame of part to part one so this is the part number one so this is right here so set the c frame to that or if you want to do if you want to do workspace dot camera dot camera type will equal to part number two or if you want game dot workspace or you if you want even you can do script dot parent dot enabled or you can do script dot enabled which is this script right here script equals to part number three because number three is right here so you can do that and it will always be same you can do whatever you want with tables that is how tables work um, hopefully this is a good video for you and I'll see you in another video